Hey folks, Daily Lens Blog for the 11th of February, 2019. So I'm in spin class this morning and I try to distract myself. I try to think about different things that we could do for Sick Not Week. I just try to take my mind to other places so I'm not focused on every pedal stroke. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. So I w was thinking today about um, how I, I wasn't feeling particularly good. And I was thinking about how do, how do I share that with other people? And it made me intensely mad. And I feel like I got to let go of my anger now because I was thinking about how people minimize this illness and how, you know, people will not treat it like a real illness. And I thought, what could be more profound than the loss of the ability to experience joy? What honestly could be worse in your day than that? And I'm not saying let's compare it to anything else because comparisons are, are really lead nowhere good, right? When you say, well, my illness is worse than your illness. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying in a standalone way, what really, how bad is it when, when you go, you know, no matter what happens, I, I can't feel good. It is incredibly dispiriting, but what bothers me most is the fact that it's not taken seriously, that somehow still in 2019 people believe that mental illness is a self-inflicted wound, that somehow it's like, suck it up and you can get better. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you turn, assuming you don't have the automatic on with your car where you just push the button, right? It doesn't matter how many times you turn it. If there's no gas in the tank or if there's no battery that's charged in the car, it's not going to turn over. It's not going to go on. It's exactly like that when it comes to somebody with depression. You can say all the things that you want to say about how you should do this or try that or why not get out more or all of that. But it doesn't matter because somehow we don't have the ability to experience joy. And it just pissed me off thinking about all the people that suffer from that and all the people that don't take it seriously. Don't look at it like it's really something severe. And in particular, I'm talking about doctors. I'm thinking about doctors, family doctors who look and go, well, come on. You know, you don't want to get started on that road or... Um, you know, why don't you, why don't you go home and get some more exercise or something like that? Like, I'm not saying exercise is a bad thing. I'm saying that it's not a cure for depression. And worst of all, it minimizes what we feel. Pissed me off. Sicknotweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because, you know what? Someone's got to speak up for you. If you have been minimized, then you tell us.